Hey YouTube, Zach here with Savage Traveling today, coming to you from beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, there's a fire truck up there that's pretty loud, so let's, he's going the other way, that's great. Okay, so I'm down here in Nashville, Tennessee. It's uh, end of May, sometime 2020. Uh, I figured I'd get up this morning, go take a walk, and just see what kind of cool things we can see. I don't think I'm gonna be here very much longer, so I figured I'd get out and make one or two more videos while I was here, so. Um, if this is your first time to Savage Traveling, uh, hit that like and maybe even that subscribe button and uh, you can see more videos of me traveling around the world. Usually not having a clue about what I'm doing or where I'm at or how I even got there sometimes, so. I digress. I'm in Nashville. I'm gonna show you guys some cool stuff. I'm heading towards downtown. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. And I'm just gonna piddle around all day and see what we can see. Enjoy. What's cool about Nashville is they're serious about their music and you'll see these every so often where uh, I don't know if they're like old established music venues or what but you know they try to let you know what's going on where you're at when you're at you got the famous music row sign if you take a right up there it's a cool van it's like the General Lee orange I don't know if you've been to Nashville or not lately, but there's a, a ton of new construction going on. Uh, there's some uh, firefighters up there. But tons of new construction going on. So if you haven't been here in 10 or 15, 20 years and you came today, you would totally not probably recognize the place. So do beware. I think they're doing pretty good though. Yeah. Little fire action going on there. But like I said, the construction around here is crazy. I mean, not like super high rises or anything. I just think the amount, it's nothing like a Bangkok or a Saigon or Taipei. But, uh, you know, for, for, for Nashville, Tennessee, I think they're doing a great old job. There's a few cool things I do like about Nashville, and it's the, the mural paintings that are everywhere. You know, I don't know who the people are half the time, but they're still really cool. This one's really nice and took some took a lot of talent and time there. Uh, 12th and Porter. But it, along with the murals and stuff, there's these, there's like memorials to guitars and statues of guitars everywhere. You can see that one up on the building that's pretty tall there. Um, let's go check it out. Down here on 12th and Grundy. <laughs> that's funny. I don't know why I think that's so funny. Cool building right here. It looks like Valley Arts Guitar went out of business and the building's up for lease, so... If you guys need a guitar building, there you go. That's cool. I assume old architecture slated to be destroyed at a certain point, I assume. And then you got the old train station in the background over there. Oh, I like that building. This is cool. A little outdoor, little beer garden type scenario. I think it might just be a kind of a museum now. I'm not too sure.
I had to come up and check out the old train here. Well, not old, but the parked train here. And there's another shot of the back of the old train station where they must have. I have no idea. I have no history of all on this. I just know it's a train station. And I couldn't get up onto the bridge to keep going that way, so I'm going to have to find another way around. Hopping trains. I so want to do that here this summer or next, but don't tell nobody. Shh. Looks like I might be able to get up here with these stairs, hopefully. Like I said a little bit ago, I'm obsessed with trains here lately. More so the idea of hopping on one and riding somewhere, but that's a big step, so we might get there. There's the train that I was up at the front of just a few minutes ago. Oh look, they got like a, like, looks like they got, there's, we got some storage cars in there. I don't know, maybe they might be storing stuff in there. I'm obsessed with the old train station. Huh? This is Music City Center on the right. I don't really know what goes on there, but it's a huge complex and I do dig the lines of the place. I figured it'd be worth a shot. State of the Music, American Currents, 20, 222 Fifth Avenue South, Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. Hey, if you've been there, uh, let me know how it is in the comments below. Looks cool. It's got Billy up on the billboard. Can't really go wrong there. Johnny Cash Museum. Figured I'd hang out in this shade for a few minutes. Feels quite, quite amazing. Heading out of downtown that way. There we go. Oh, this is cool. The Nashville Sympathy expresses its most sincere gratitude to the citizens of Nashville for their love of all forms of music and for making it the Shermerhorn Symphony Center of a reality. Well, she's pretty, isn't she? Uh, a bunch of tall buildings. Heading down here toward the Regions Bank Center and the AT&T building, so. Kind of towards the bar area. We'll see what's going on on this. It's a Memorial Day, actually. Memorial Day 2020. 
the Shelby Street Bridge. Constructed in 1909, rehabilitated in 2003. Originally constructed in 1909, the Shelby Street Bridge reopened as a pedestrian-only bridge after an extensive renovation in 2003. Architecturally, the bridge was the first in North America utilizing concrete arch trusses, which have been reconstructed between First Avenue and the Cumberland River on the West Bank. The more you know. We'll check it out. Stand up paddle boarders way out there if you can see them. Oh, that one has eggs. I'll leave it alone then. What are you looking at? Um, up here is Nashville's Broadway Street. There's like hundreds of bars on it. Maybe not hundreds, but like many. And uh, I made a video last time I was here. I'm gonna leave that above right now. And uh, you can check that out if you want to. But uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go into this just because I did a video about it last time. So uh, I think we're gonna bypass that. And just kind of cruise around and see what else is down here because I don't really know. Actually, I wanna go. I do know where I do wanna go. Back down by the river. Oh, let's look at this. Hold on, I wanna see these old paintings on the side of this brick building. I don't know if we can see them very well. No. Okay. We tried. All right. I'm gonna go find some better stuff. <laughs> We're fucking slacking here today, like big time. See, this is Broadway. Like I said, I left my video above. Check it out. Here's a little train station we saw from the uh, bridge up there. Now, I don't know if this, I think they still use it for maybe for like tourism trains or tour, but I don't really know. Don't quote me. I've seen a train parked here before once. That's all I've got to say about that. Um, and now I assume it was like the train station at one point, but uh, who knows today? I love the train, but uh, a lot of people don't. We're gonna go up here and check out these wooden structures. Right there, you see the, uh, that'd be the, uh, the height of the water at flood levels. That's some high water. Yeah, I don't know what this is about, guys. It's like a... A facsimile of an old fort, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 
and recognition of Colonel Richard Henderson, founder and promoter of the noted Transylvania Land Company, whose purchase from the Cherokee Indians covered the territory from the waters of Kentucky River to that of Cumberland. His first settlement was made at Boonesboro, which failed in loss of title by action of Virginia. His second attempt at settlement was made in 1779-1780 at this place on the Cumberland River, then known as the French Lick. You can pause and read the rest of that if you want. Uh, here, here's what it originally looked like apparently. Ooh, it's like a place up there where you eat and drink. This is cool, I guess. I'd like to help build it. Oh, looks like there's a little beach over there. Alright guys, I knew it was a matter of time before I'd find one of these and I definitely wanted to show you guys. So, uh, this is about the lynchings of Henry and Ephraim Grizzarda. If you didn't know, Nashville has a dark and violent past and this is just one little part of it. But in the spring of 1892, one of the most violent public events in Nashville's history occurred at this site. On April 24th, 1892, two black men were accused of assaulting two white women near Goodlettsville. Henry Grizzard and Ephraim Grizzard brothers were arrested on suspicion along with three other black men during this era. The deep racial hostility that permeated Southern society burdened black people with the presumption of guilt that often focused suspicion on black communities after crimes were alleged, whether evidence supported that suspicion or not. Without a trial, Henry was lynched the next day by white residents of Davidson and Sumner County at Manskers Creek. Ephraim, however, was taken to Nashville's jail to await trial. On April 30th, leaders of an angry white mob violently abducted Ephraim from the jail and hanged him from the Woodland Street Bridge before piercing his body with hundreds of bullets. Thousands of well-to-do respectable citizens supported lawless mob violence that threatened the black community. Ephraim Grizzard's body was taken back to Goodlettsville where it was burned publicly to further terrorize black residents. Black community members who were sought to protest and complain about racial terror lynchings were themselves threatened with violence and forced to flee the community, adding to the trauma and tragedy surrounding those, these lynchings. Okay guys, ah, I can barely see the sign but you can see it there. That was the first one and right here is where the Davidson County Jail stood near here on what was called Water Street or Front Street. Throughout most of the 19th century, despite the duty of law enforcement to provide custodial protection, the jail was a repeated site of lynchings and violence that devastated the African-American community. On March 25, 1872, a white mob firstly removed a black man named David Jones from the jail, shot him twice, and hanged him from a lamp post in Public Square. Though police officers cut Mr. Jones down and dispersed the crowd, he died later, hours later from his injuries. On the night of April 30th, 1875, a mob abducted another black man named Joe Reed from the county jail and dragged him to the nearby suspension bridge at the current site of the Woodland Street Bridge in front of a large crowd of onlookers. Mr. Reed was shot multiple times in the head and hanged from the bridge. His body was abandoned to the Cumberland River after the rope broke and he fell into the water below. These lynchings were acts of racial terrorism, often committed without intervention by law enforcement officials and commonly left unpunished. Each lynching in Davidson County was created trauma and pain while reinforcing white supremacy and denying African Americans in the community their basic rights. Remember these events in support of justice, human rights, and decency for all. Well, they should be remembered because <laughs> Nashville's the Hermitage House. Oh, the Hermitage Hotel, excuse me. Here we change it up after the uh, last bit of little, you know, the bad news of Nashville, and we'll see some other, see a few more things here. So I'm gonna end this video right up here. Cause like I said, I don't have much to say about Nashville. Like, especially when I run into those things. I mean, I'm usually pretty happy about Nashville and then I run into those signs. And there's many others around the city. Don't think that's just two of those. There's many of those. I've ran into several. that I didn't have my camera to document. Not today, but other times. But we're gonna end the video here on the backdrop of this big old dog. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate you guys spending time with me down here in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe even hit that subscribe button because soon, soon, soon we will be traveling abroad with Savage Traveling and we're going to be seeing all kinds of cool stuff. 
much cooler than Nashville, Tennessee, hopefully. So, uh, like I said, thanks for watching, and peace.